So today I stopped by my buddy's house and because of stipulation with the landlord, he can't have in-ground garden. So everything's above ground. I'm here to show you a wild edible that's growing in with those pepper plants. As soon as you see this plant, a lot of you are going to recognize it, okay? So here it is right here. Check it out. It's about three foot tall. These plants will get about three foot tall, one to three feet, and uh, some of the varieties will get four to six. There's a, there's a ton of different types. This is lamb's quarter or wild spinach. That's right, it's wild spinach, guys. So check it out. It's also known as goose foot. If you look right there, you can see how it kind of resembles a goose foot on the leaves. And all the leaves are a little bit different, okay? It's also known as fat hen. And the reason it's called fat hen is because farmers were said to feed this to fatten up their hens because of all the proteins and stuff in the plant. I guess it worked, and that's what I've heard, and that's how it got its name. So we'll take the word for it. And, you know, they fed on this kind of stuff because this stuff is so invasive. You know, they're always pulling this plant. It grows literally everywhere. It's an annual, and uh, it, it's found in lawns, yards, fields, gardens. and grows in disturbed soil sidewalk cracks pretty much anywhere you can find this plant so another thing about it it's easy to identify now do you see the white powder the white crystals okay that's on every single one of these type of plants if you see it it's more at the top but it is all over the stem as well it's pretty much everywhere on the plant now it's it's a water repellent and it's hydrophobic so water literally runs off this plant because of those crystals another way to identify it if you look at the nobs and you can see the reddish purple right there trying to focus reddish purple right there down in the crack another way to identify it it does the plant does have a thick stem it's got that candy cane look to it and it's ribbed and it's got that hexagon shape to it so this is a pretty good uh this is a pretty good size plant right here now this plant is in the chenopodum alum family okay the goosefoot family it's the second most nutritional wild edible it's been used by the indians um and it's not native so it was actually introduced by european colonists they the leaves are extremely high in vitamins and calciums potassium iron um, also contain minerals vitamin b complex and vitamin c and the seeds are also valuable they contain proteins calcium phosphorus potassium and niacin and you can harvest the seeds they'll come in big uh big groups the tops uh, and that'll be in the winter and fall if you cook them right now the indians use this plant to improve blood dietary aid to keep overall healthy uh, they use it as a wash they use it internally uh, for painful limbs eskimos use it as a gas release they cooked it with beans um, pretty cool stuff. They also use it as a diarrhea remedy. Um, various Indians used it for various things. So they all had their thing with it. This plant, I mean, it, it's obviously amazing. and has amazing qualities. Western medicine is used it to expel worms. Um, it's an, and as an anti-spasmatic. Its other uses were by the Pawnee. And they use it to paint their bows and arrows. So, pretty cool stuff, guys. Just kind of giving you a good view of the plant the best I can. Now, to eat this plant, okay. Um, when it's younger, you can eat the whole plant. Um, you know, it's very tender when it's small, when it's a few inches tall. Now, as it grows and matures, you know, obviously it's got this tough stem. You're going to want to take the tops right here um you know and just trim those and there's a lot of them right there and it'll grow back and you take these tops you can actually eat it raw um it's it's still good but i like to cook it and there's many different recipes you can follow 
it's pretty simple to cook kind of treat it like spinach and you can literally wash it off wash the white crystals off right there and uh you know basically just cook it in the water that you you washed it with and you can add a little bit of water butter salt whatever you got to do you only got to cook it for a couple minutes but this stuff is highly nutritious i mean it's wild spinach guys so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that i thought it was cool he had no idea what it was he thought it was just a weed which it is just growing in his garden but this happens to be something that's pretty incredible one of my favorite hands down wild edibles guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a short one if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe all right guys see you next time thanks for tuning in